what's good y'all your boy ross back at it again with another video so i had to check out what y'all been talking about i didn't get a chance to check out dynamite tonight um we were you know pretty much setting up for the stream on twitch and a lot of you guys were notifying me on twitch and on twitter while we were streaming you gotta check out what happened at the end of dynamite tonight and it involved tony i didn't know what it was but i knew something it involved tony they're, they're doing something crazy right so i decided to check out dynamite really just for that last segment because i wanted to know what was going on I, they started off the show with the evps uh pulling up the young bucks and okada and then uh you have jack perry hop out one of the vehicles so they started off the show with them uh security was trying to block jack perry from getting in the building but the evp said nah he's good so obviously they're all in the building uh jack perry did help them uh get the AEW tag championships he assisted in helping them get the championship so you want to see what's going on here he got skate coat or i said skate coat scapegoat all on his uh jacket sleeves and stuff so he's really He's really going with the the scapegoat situation. He's gonna, you know, try to turn turn that situation that happened with CM Punk and make some money out of it. Which cool. That's that's what you're supposed to do, right? So we get to the end of the show because I, I really wanted to know what was going on here, bro. What happened to Tony? So Jack Perry comes out there and he he lets the know, people know, like, you know, he, he didn't even get no theme music and nothing. He just comes out there, lets the people know he had some great times in the building they were in. They were in Jacksonville. So he said, I had some great times here, great memories, great moments. But now it's time to get to business. Tony Khan, come on out here. So Tony Khan, <laughs> the boss that he is, walks on out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> looking goofy i ain't gonna lie to you tony khan just always has this goofy demeanor so he comes out there looking goofy but happy to be there you know what i'm saying and he doesn't even have a microphone which probably is a good thing but he literally is just letting jack perry talk jack's like hey man it's good to see you you know type stuff like we had our ups and downs or whatnot but you know at the end of the day you know i'm here to put things in the past let's make this place uh that much better let's you know let's do this you know what i'm saying like, like let's, let's let's get back on the same page essentially so uh they end up shaking each other's hand or whatnot they end up hugging and embracing the crowds like oh this is great it's a wholesome moment and you know jack perry's holding up his arm you know uh tony khan's pointing out like this is my guy yeah and then all of a sudden <laughs> Jack Perry punches him in the gut with the microphone. Just, ooh. So now Tony Khan is selling, getting gut punched <laughs> by Jack Perry with the microphone. And then the EVPs and Okada come out there. So they're like, oh, what's going on? Like, why'd you do that? Now, here's the thing. I kind of figured they're about to pack this man up. And the reason why I, I figured that is because of how they were stalling. They're supposed to be chastising uh, Jack, but they really wasn't doing a good job. And it looked like they were about to set him up, you know, the Young Bucks, where they end up setting up a person by holding both of their arms for a move. And that's how it looked. It looked like that. Like, it looked, the way they were setting up and kind of stalling a little bit for time to make it seem as if they were trying to help Tony up, no, you could tell, oh, they're about to pack this guy up. So, as Tony, they help Tony get up to his feet. Okada pretty much gives them the signal to get him out of here. <laughs> gives them the thumbs down, pretty much, essentially. And they pick him up. <laughs> pick up Tony Khan. <laughs> and they proceed to pack, pack Tony Khan up, bro. It's the little top rope uh pile driver maneuver i'm not sure the name y'all know what it is <laughs> but it's basically one of the young bucks go up to the top <laughs> and they basically pile drive <laughs> tony Khan to the mat and he died <laughs> and then after this and this is where it's, it's so funny nobody came to save him 
This is the owner of the fucking company. Not one person while all this commotion was happening. No extra officials came out there. It was just the EVPs and Okada. And they packed them up some more. Then the referees come out there. The referees and some of the trainers come out there. After they then dragged, um, Jack Perry drags his lifeless body in the middle of the ring and all four stand over him as this guy is dead on the canvas. As y'all can see in the background, he's dead. And then the referees come out there and try to assist after they get that, that photogenic moment, that, that Kodak moment. Then the refs come out there. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey, get out of here. After they shoosh them back to the back area, that's when all of a sudden every all the the locker room decides to rush to the ring to check on Tony Khan. Where were you when your boss was getting packed up? Why was nobody coming out there when he got gut punched by a microphone? Nobody. Nobody came out there to help their boss. <laughs> he got packed up. What? Even Tony Khan's father came out there. Dad, where were you? You just watched your son get packed up and you you finally come out there? What? His dad comes out there to help. See what's going on after he got packed up. L roster. L father too. What type of father just sits there and willingly lets this, this happen to his son? An L roster for nobody going out there in enough time. This nigga Tony Khan paying y'all handsomely to not do shit on television. The least you can do is go out there and help your boss when he's getting packed up like that. That shit was funny. I'm not going to hold you. Just, and you can tell Tony Khan, he's, he's not really good with the selling and stuff like that. So I get it. But that shit, he just looked helpless. Oh, my God. Oh my god, bro. I'm glad I'm glad I checked this out. Oh my god. That that shit was fantastic. That <laughs> That nigga went down from a stomach punch, a gut punch from a microphone. Took Tony Khan down. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ah, oh, so much pain. Ooh, the intense pain. <laughs> it wasn't like a punch, but I'm guessing probably Tony, you know, not ready to take those type of bumps. So, ooh, ah, oh, the microphone is so deadly. <sighs> I will say this. It's interesting to see what they do with this. I mean, if I'm Tony Khan, I just fire all of them. <laughs> That's all I do. Like, wait a minute. I own the company. You're all fired. <laughs> That's it. But, you know, Tony, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. So if he can get gut punched by a microphone, then this is, yeah, they should all be fired because his life was threatened. He was feared for his life. His life was threatened. All of them should be fired. What? Tony, stand on your morals. Stand on your morals. You said CM Punk had you scared. He had never been scared in your life. Stand on your morals and fire all of them. They ain't fired by next week. What's wrong with you, Tony? Comment down below. <laughs> Let me know. Does this story intrigue you? Are you interested in seeing what they do with this? Uh, part of me is. Part of me is. <laughs> Only because I really want to see what Tony Khan's going to do about this. Because this was fucking hilarious. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 150k. I'm still young. It's to get to the rest of the chapter of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.